All right, guys. So we are here in Florida. St. Augustine is the oldest city in America. So I'm very excited. This is my first time, but this is Katie's like fifth time here. So gonna be relying on her expertise. But don't wait for too long. Just hold me. Um, so around here where you see the grass, it used to be a moat. So there was water throughout here to help protect from invaders. Guys, so we are in the San Castillos Fort in St. Augustine. It's at the tip of the river that comes into St. Augustine from the ocean. A lot of people that were coming into the city had to be checked at this fort. And also if there were other colonizers like the British um, who were coming, they would also fire cannons at them. So this is a beautiful place and definitely a tourist destination. So Jack and I are taking a bathroom break. Speaking of which, um, there are these tidal toilets, which are really cool. Um, basically, they had a system for flushing uh, here. They actually use the tide. So they would go into this room. You would sit like a normal toilet, um, and the waste would go in like a sand pit. And then they had an under tunnel system that would actually flush everything out, which was pretty neat for that time. Okay, most of this really is representative of 18th century procedures that would have been done. Being that I'm portraying a surgeon, mm -hmm. uh, these are all, all invasive procedures that you would perform. Yeah, yeah this one here is alcohol, ethyl alcohol, which is uh, 130 proof, so you can't really drink it, but uh, <laughs> well, you could drink it, but I don't think it's going to be good for you. And vinegar. Vinegar was the second form of um, uh, antiseptic that we utilize. From here down to the medical park. stand here with the rifles um, for shooting and I think I think there might have been stairs where people would have looked up to see incoming ships and possible invaders nice. it's like a watchtower Around here there's a lot of local artists, a lot of shops, um, lots of things to do, lots of food, things that are delicious, unique things to do, um, and everything even if you do want to shop is in with it within a reasonable price. Alright guys, so we are at an ice cream pop place that Katie had recommended us to come. Yes, it's called Hippo Popsicles. Hippo Popsicles. And everything is made with fresh fruit, fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fresh fruits, fresh ingredients. What flavor did you get? Um, I got banana, coconut, chocolate dipped. The chocolate dip is a dollar extra, but it's worth it. <laughs> and I got the pistachio coconut. Let's see how it is. Um, they have a variety of different types of fruits, from strawberry, banana, jackfruit, mm -hmm. pistachio, all these nuts mm -hmm. as well. They had an Elvis one. It has um, peanut butter, banana, and honey, which yeah. I was torn about getting. <laughs> Once you get it, you can dip it in chocolate. Let's try it. You can really taste the pistachio. It's like crushed. And you can taste like some, some grains there too. Very fresh. You can tell it's made with fresh fruit. Um, it's not Mutual. like... It's not like a flavor, like a flavoring you would get in a normal popsicle. Um, you can tell they blended like fresh fruit together to make it. 
Um, it's not like fake tasting, if that makes any sense. <laughs> So I got a flight of beer right here. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> So it's called the Florida Flight. The Florida um, Flight? Yes, so they're all local, local beers. Matanzas, River Red, and then that's here in St. Augustine. Mmm, I like that one, that's my favorite. That's in Gainesville. Gainesville? Mm -hmm. I like Boston better. <laughs> <laughs> So what is this? This is blue crab and artichoke dip. Blue crab, artichoke hearts, fresh shaved parmesan. Uh, it's baked and served with toasted crostini. Casa Monica Hotel. It's basically a very fancy hotel. The king and queen actually stayed here um, during their visit. I think it was for the 400th or 500th anniversary of um, the founding of St. Augustine. So um, check it out. We're at the Leitner Museum. Um, to be honest, I don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember it looked cool on the inside, so I decided to bring Jack here. Hey, if I'm right, what do we have, like old fashioned y and you know, you know I like old fashioned yeah, stuff. Yeah, you do like old fashioned stuff. <laughs> I do, I'm old at heart. Um, yeah, she likes old music too. Yeah, so there's like all these like, see, this is set up. Vintage. There's a beautiful koi pond here, so I thought we would check that out. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so next we are going on the trolley tour. Yep, we're taking Old Town Trolley uh, Company. Um, it's about an hour and a half long tour and it goes around Old St. Augustine. There's about 21 stops, um, so we're going to take that, cruise around, see all the sights, um, and then once we heard everything, choose a place to get off. Yeah. This, this plaza ended St. Augustine turned oh. traffic. What? Well, not right yet, there you go. No. No. We have to get this car set up. Now the plaza on the right is the tow bar. Uh. All right, guys, so a new day. So yesterday we were so tired that we passed out. So we went on the chopping street to the old school. Today we're gonna do a lot of things. We're going to the old jail cell now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to um, Spanish moss trees. And then going to the fountain of youth. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, it's playing. This chemical. 50 pounds. He's a mountain of a man. He's a sharpshooter. He's an excellent tracker. He is a self-proclaimed judge, jury, and executioner. It is his way or no way. So you want to stay on his good side while you're here, right? You got the uh, you got the stockades right and left. They're pretty self-explanatory. They have helped with my lower back issues. Yeah. And this right here, sir, you answered it right off the bat. You said birdcage, right? Yeah, bird, right? Yeah, there you go. And he just answered my second question. If this is a birdcage, what does that make him? And he said jailbird. Yeah, I, I think this guy's a repeat offender. If it's hot out here, about 15, 20 degrees hotter in there. Cold out here, colder in there. It's pretty much miserable in there. Something to look forward to, right? Here we have, well, we have the gallows. This is a hanging jail. There have been eight documented hangings here because the sheriff knows how to make money. You betcha. He charges admission to watch these events. People come in from other counties, sometimes other states. This is prime entertainment in 1908. So I'm maybe trying to escape while we're out there. Yeah, we're gonna be wearing this right here as well. The ball and chain. This one weighs about, let me get off the peg up here. This one weighs about, it weighs about, well, six pounds. Until we get to where we're going, they'll uncap this, they'll fill this full of sand and water. 
Now that six pounds has just become 65 pounds. So you still try to escape, but you're not gonna move very far and definitely not very fast. And prisoners. There are 14 cells up here. These cells were designed to hold four people each. Do the math. 110 prisoners, that's more like seven people per cell. If it fits, it sits. That's the sheriff's bread and butter. He's not gonna let that number drop too low because then it starts affecting his income. All right guys, so we just left the old country jail and we're just gonna give you a mini review. The tour was worth it, it was very good. Our tour guide, his name was Mike. He was very funny. He's very funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do think some of the inmates, yes, there were some really bad, bad people there. Um, I think some maybe didn't deserve that as harsh of a life as they got. Yeah. It just feels heavy there. Yeah, you know? it does. But now, let's change this topic yeah. because we are at the Fountain of Youth. Yay. Woo! <laughs> All right guys, so we went to the Fountain of Youth. It's fresh spring water and the story behind it is that the, if you drink the water from the Fountain of Youth, you can live forever or you can be youthful forever. Yes. Right? And how did it taste? Um, it actually tasted really good. It's really refreshing. Yeah, yeah especially yeah. on a hot day. Yeah. It doesn't taste like distilled water. It doesn't taste like Poland Spring. Mm -hmm. It tastes like water, but a little splash of like nature, if you know what I mean. I don't think you know what I mean, but <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a, a little smell to it, like just drinking from like a, um, you know, from a spring water. Now we're gonna live forever. So next, we're gonna get some lunch. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're very hungry. Yeah. Very, very hungry. Yeah. A lot of walking. Yeah, and I don't want to make her upset because <laughs> she gets hangry, you know. Uh, well, we're at the Teeny Martini Bar. Um, basically, they have a lot of martinis. You have to try it. I love sitting out here. Um, so many flavors, and I try to get something different every time I come. Um, fun fact is like this place used to be a brothel, um, so kind of interesting. It's supposed to be haunted too. So yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, first round, first round of bottles they got. We're gonna go into one of the oldest houses in town, so you can truly just empathize with what it was like to live in the 18th century. It was built in 1740. To do the bidding of his king, he came here to found Saint Augustine. Coal's messier. In fact, I think years ago here they used to burn coal or coke, not to drink. They sailed across. This is the actual size of some of the boats that um, they sailed across to get to St. Augustine from Spain. So they this boat. left yes, this boat. from Spain to Florida. That's crazy. 
I would be very scared. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm drinking some coffee here at the Leitner Museum. This was once the Alcazar Hotel and we are in the deep part of the pool. So this place right here, that's all this place, used to be a pool, a swimming pool like this. There's a cafe here, there's a lot of people. You gotta make reservations. We didn't make reservations, but we were able to just sit in and drink some coffee. So that's why we're here. We're at the Leitner Museum. Um, it used to be an old hotel, I think, was it Alakazar Hotel maybe? Now it's just a museum for you to look around, um, see some of the artifacts, and a lot of art. It actually closed down in 1930s because of the depression, and also the hotel was not getting a lot of visitors. So they decided to close it down, make the cafe, make the gift shops, and also construct this museum uh, platforms so everyone can see what the hotel had to offer. Alright guys, we are at Prohibition Kitchen. This place is actually really well known for their burgers. What kind of burgers do they have? Um, they have like their signature burger which has short rib, brisket, sirloin, um, and it also has smoked bacon, red onion jam, fried egg, and red dragon cheese. Yeah. Um, but just a bunch of different sandwiches, uh, burgers, uh, like they have a fish sandwich, a grilled cheese with a short rib, yeah. chicken sandwich, Reuben. Yeah. Their menu also feeds off of like a newspaper right here. Roosevelt ends prohibition since uh, 1933. And you can read all about it, tells you the history. So we got our food. I got BK Signature Burger. It has a fried egg on top with sides of fries. It's a burger with half pound of sirloin, brisket, bacon, bacon, a lot of different things. So, and egg. She got the bootlegger. So it has a potato salad. It has, it has potato salad. It has what is that? Um, bacon, fried green tomatoes. Bacon, fried green tomatoes, and cheese. And we're gonna try it out. Got the burger here. You got bacon. Got all the meats I told you, half pound, and fried egg. So let's try it. And look, burger says PK. That's actually one of the best burgers I've had. The meat is so tender. Once you bite down, you just go through it. Oh, there's a sauce, it's like, sweet barbecue sauce. It mixes well with the egg. It tastes very like savory and sour. Um, I would say that it's definitely up there. I, you would definitely have to like fried green tomatoes to like this dish. Um, but the bacon is really good. I love fried green tomatoes and I think it all blends really well. Um, so yeah, I would definitely order it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's got pineapple, vanilla ice cream, and pineapple juice in the bottom. Try it. Oh shoot, hold on. Hold on. That's so good. <laughs> so right now we're going upstairs. We're going to the rooftop bar at Riverfront. Let's go. Let me know you wanted to Don't tell what you need
So right now, my handsome baby, he's in the bathroom. But I just want to say, baby, I love you. I hope you find this later. 